now we are going to look into the theory of open circuit characteristics of DC generator so open circuit characteristics is also known as a magnetic characteristics or no load saturation characteristics so it basically determines the relationship between generated EMF at no load and the field current at a given fixed speed to obtain the data for open circuit characteristics curve uh, it's obtained by operating the generator at no load and keeping the constant speed and the field current is gradually increased and the cor corresponding terminal voltage is recorded uh, we know from the EMF equation of the uh, DC generator that the generated EMF should be directly proportional to the field flux uh, however uh, even when the field current is zero some amount of EMF is generated as you can see from the figure uh, this initially e induced EMF is due to the fact that there exists some residual magnetism in the field poles due to the residual magnetism a small initial EMF will be induced in the armature so th this initially induced uh, EMF eats the existing residual flux and hence increase the overall field flux so this uh, leads, leads to the increase of the induced EMF Some of the materials required for this experiment are Number 1. We need DC motor and DC generator Number 2. We need a DC power supply Number 3. We need two rheostats Rheostat 1. Use that motor side and rheostat 2. Use that generator side Then we need two emitters one for measuring motor field current and other for measuring generator field current and also we need two voltmeters one for measuring supply voltage and one for measuring induced voltage then we need a tachometer to measure the speed lastly we need connecting probes now we will look into the procedures Uh, we will verify the circuit diagram so from the positive terminal of the source side so it will be connected to the A1 of the motor and the negative terminal from source side will be connected to A2 and A1 and E1 will be shorted and from E2 it will be taken to rheostat and from rheostat it will be taken to a positive terminal of the emitter and from uh, negative terminal of emitter will be connected back to E2 and next will be verify the circuit for generator so here the A1 and E1 will be shorted and from A1 it will be connected to voltmeter uh, negative terminal of the voltmeter and <coughs> and from the positive terminal of the voltmeter it will be uh, connected back to A2 and from A2 it will be taken to the Rheostat and from rheostat it will be taken back to uh, emitter and from emitter it will be taken back to E2 so that's all